all, yes. Uh -huh. This church, yeah, derived probably from the Greek Curicon, yeah. The Lord's house, uh -huh. which was used by ancient authors for the place of worship, yeah. Mm -hmm. In the New Testament, it is the translation of the Greek word ecclesia, mm -hmm. which is synonymous with the Hebrew kala, mm -hmm. Of the Old Testament, both words um, meaning simply an assembly, <laughs> the character of which can only be known from the connection in which the word is found. Yes, <laughs> there's no clear instance of it uh, being used for a place of meeting or of worship, <laughs> although in post apostolic times uh -huh, it uh, early received this meaning. Oh, nor is the word ever used to denote the inhabitants of a country. <laughs> United in the same profession as when we say the Church of England, oh, the Church of Scotland. We find ooch, the word ecclesia used in the following sense, senses in the New Testament. Uh, one, it is translated assembly. Mm -hmm. In the ordinary classical sense, Acts uh, 19, 32, 39, and 41. It denotes the whole body of the redeemed, all of those whom the Father has given to Christ. <laughs> the indivisible Catholic Church, Ephesians 5, 23, 25, 27, 29, <laughs> and Hebrews 12, 23. <laughs> A few Christians associated together in observing the ordinances of the gospel are in Ecclesia, Ouch. Romans 16, 5, and Colossians 4, 15. <laughs> Now, all the Christians in a particular city, whether they worshiped together in one place or in several places for religious worship, were in Ecclesia. Thus, all the disciples in Antioch, forming several congregations for one church, Acts 13, 1. So we read of the church at Corinth, oh, uh, 1 Corinthians 1, 2, the church at Jerusalem, Acts 8, 1, and the church of Ephesus, oh, Revelation 2, 1. Now, the whole body of professing Christians throughout the world, yes, 1 Corinthians 15, 9, Galatians 1, 13, and Matthew 16, 18, are the church of Christ. <laughs> now, this whole idea of the church of Christ, the ecclesia, yeah, the whole religion of Christianity, the church visible consists of all those throughout the world who profess the true religion together with their children, it is called visible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, yes, yes. Mixture of wheat and chaff. No, because, where'd it go? Uh, it is called visible because mm -hmm. uh, its members are known and its assemblies are public. And there's a mixture of wheat and chaff of saints and sinners. God has commanded his people to organize themselves into distinct, visible ecclesiastical communities with constitutions, laws, and officers, badges, ordinances, and discipline for the great purpose of giving visibility to his kingdom of making known the gospel of that kingdom and of gathering in all its elect subjects. Oh. Now, this Ecclesia, let's say you've been playing hide-and-seek. Little dog, did you bury some bones? You know, for those in the way that thought they would have a top-secret search where, the church, where they would come to find out what the pastor was preaching, I don't see that the Ecclesia was organized in that way <laughs> for the last 2,000 years. Yes, yes. It was that you would go to a church, yes, mm -hmm, because you, you really did uh, embrace the the Constitution, the laws, and the officers, oh, the badges, the ordinances, the discipline, Ooh, the ecclesiastical community of those in the congregation. <laughs> Now, my concern is that a lot of those that are actual employees of the church, yeah, they have an obligation to enforce child abuse laws, child exploitation laws, kidnapping laws. Poop, poop. And as I said, well, your top secret way of doing things happens to violate numerous laws. Yes. 
Now, seek and find. Uh, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. <laughs> Knock and it shall be opened unto you. <laughs> you know, I've emailed numerous individuals in different uh, congregations and religions yes, that have the actual liability for the enforcement of the laws. You know, as a pastor, man or woman, ordained, licensed, <laughs> I don't care what gender you are. Yes, I will have you put in prison. Mm -hmm. See, you cannot arrest persons when you know that they haven't committed any crimes. <laughs> you cannot deprive people of the evidence that would exonerate them. Yes, you cannot issue court orders that violates due process. <laughs> you cannot take the children of American citizens without any due process. Now, the judges in Clallam County seem to have thought right now that you could buy anything you want and you could violate the laws. My thought was, when you didn't give me notice of court hearings for the... Well, you're going to need to remove your fraud, Pope. And then I'll get each and every church of the Ecclesia. Yes. And I'll look at each and every pastor, Pooch, all the individual employees. Yes. And I'll do a little investigating to find out if you're in the way. <laughs> and if you've been playing hide and seek with, oh, you know, <laughs> I will have you put in 